In my last video, I textured these spray cans. In the previous one, I modeled them. And now I'm going to make um, sort of a, a squeeze tube along the same product line. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna bring in a circle. I'm gonna go for 24 vertices. Look from the front by pressing one. Eat extrude, bring it up. And I'm gonna bring an edge loop down here. Press three to go into face selection. And I'm gonna select these three faces here. I'm going to extrude them in a little ways and delete these bottom faces right here. Press C for circle select, paint select, whatever that is. Get rid of that. Now, as you can see, they sort of curve out there. So I'm going to press 3 for face selection, circle select. I'm going to grab those, hit escape, and I'm going to scale these in the X just so that they follow the contour a little bit more bit better okay so we got this in edge selection number two I'm gonna select that edge and then press E and S I'm gonna pull it in and we'll have that okay if I put on a subdivision surface this is how it looks so far okay next thing I'm going to do is let's Bring an edge loop down here to tighten that up a little bit. And bring an edge loop out and bring an edge loop in. Just make that just a little bit sharper. Maybe bring an edge loop down there as well. So I've got that shape. A little bit of overlap, but that's okay. Now I'm going to take this top edge here and I'm going to pull it down. This is going to be the top part. Now shift D to duplicate that, bring it down to about here. And look from the front, E, this is the, the, uh, the actual cap part. I'm going to bring it down longer. I have to make a face. Control B, pull back quite a bit. And I'm going to round it quite a bit like that. Shade smooth. Go back and shift Alt and click that edge. Nope, this one here. E and S, I'm going to pull it in. And then I'm going to take this. Nah, maybe not. Maybe I'll just bring an edge up. We'll see how nice of a... Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so let's select a piece of that. Control L to get the whole thing. Look from the front and just bring it in a little bit closer. So we have that. Okay. Let's take this and E and S. Just pull it in like that. And that's okay. Let's get one more edge loop in there. Okay, now we're gonna make the tube part of it. Okay, shift A, mesh, circle. Uh, some people use a cylinder, I'm gonna use an eight-sided circle. Scale it in, bring it up. I have to make a face, and I'm gonna go control two on that. I might go for one more, we'll see. Bring it to about there, and then we'll make the tube, so. Extrude it up and then bring an edge loop down to the bottom, near the bottom. A little bit more, and then let's grab this face here. Three, that face right there. I'd inset that, I'll straighten that out. We'll work on making that fit later. Okay, grab this face, and we're going to scale this in the wide flat it out like this one thing we got to look look how this how sharp it gets let's scale this in the X now we're gonna bring it up a bit more now bring an edge loop up and I think I will go for one more subdivision on this just to make it nice and smooth you see what we're getting at here okay and now I'm going to take this face here and extrude it one more time up. Just wanted to do that. Shift Alt and click that edge and Control B, pull, 
roll my mouse back to zero, get a little space in there, E and Alt S, and we are going to push. Bring an inch loop up to there, down, and I gotta go one more up. Just want an area that I can color a little bit differently. At this point, you can shape it if you want to uh, put another inch loop in here. If you want to have more of a bulge to it. So, for example, you could take, uh, let's see, let's take this and go GG, slide it up. If you want it to bulge out, scale in the Y a little bit. You do that. Okay, this part can get pretty sharp, but a lot of these tubes are like that. It is rounded enough, you shouldn't have a problem with that. Let's have a look though at the face orientation. As you can see, everything is flipped, so I'm going to select all my parts. Alt N, recalculate outside. We'll go back to here. And we'll let's have a look um, with cavity shader and a matte cap. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you can do anything else you want to do with that. Let's see how this would look if I start adding a few materials to this. So there's the top. If I was to put on, let's say, the same that, what if I was to make this black? I think what I'm going to need to do is uh, just put an edge there. And let's do this. Yeah, let's just focus on that piece right there. Maybe that. Control E, mark seam. Let's go into the UV editor. Like that. And let's unwrap that and see how she looks. So, this is what I get now. Let's. Um, Take that edge, SY0, SY0, SX0, and uh, on the other hand, maybe I should use that one. Let's try this and see how it works. Uh, select that face, select all of it, U, follow active quads, just to straighten that out. This piece is, uh, I don't really care about that, I just want that in black. Uh, that's fine. Let's see how that works. Now, what I am thinking I want is a similar sort of uh, area as that. Now, um, what I'm going to do is, um, I think just, let me see, I want this part, I think, uh, to have that label on it. How far do I want it to go? Let's start with that. Let's go to materials and let's create a new material. And let's call this um, squeeze tube label and assign. And we'll have that. So I got a material now. Let's go to shading and control T. And what I've done in PowerPoint is I used the same template that I did for the spray can. And I just changed some of the words a little bit. And I've got this. And I made this into a, uh, a JPEG. Let's see if on that squeeze tube label here if I add that okay 
So let's go back to UV image editing. Let's select that part there. I think actually I'll select, um, I think what I'll do is I'll take these two things and I'm gonna just move them out do something different with that so I can just focus on this stuff here okay and I am going to let's try rotate 90 okay it's upside down rotate 180 scale this a bit I'm going to open that so I see that to what I want now. Just position it a little bit better. A little bit of that. that we'll see I may like that better I can delete that if I want to and I think I may but before I do that I'll come in here I'm gonna bump up the metallic down the roughness have a look at this. Orange gel, a fruity softening gel that will make your skin smell and feel great. Zero bias before basic skin price for over 50 years. Okay, so we got that. We got our design on the back. And then we'll just decide if I want that. And I think I'll delete that. Okay, so that's up here. delete that as well so it doesn't overlap and I'll just save that out again we'll go back in the shading tab and I'll reload that and the only other thing I was debating was whether or not I wanted to put on there maybe um, have that I just thought maybe it would look a little nicer maybe that needs to come up a bit right there
cool. All right, that's it.